My iCloud is full. I have a million photos. I need to organize these. I need to stop taking so many photos. Yes, I understand that you feel you have way too many photos and that you should delete some because they are totally out of control. You can add that to your calendar under the month never remember. I don't delete my photos and the people that I work with don't delete their photos because it is too emotionally difficult. What if this other one is better? What if your friend likes that smile better? What if you want this one sometime in the future? These are all the questions that you have to answer about every single photo. I have a new five part plan to propose. Number one, just pay for more iCloud storage. Uh, it is private and it is secure as long as you have two factor authentication turned on. I'm gonna link to that in the description. Uh, it is worth, in my opinion, it's worth 10 bucks a month to have photos the same on all your devices and for them to be backed up off site and for them to be safe from fire, flood, zombie apocalypse. Number two, take all the photos you want. Number three, mark your favorites with a heart. You can do this on your phone or you can do this on your Mac. Number four is use the favorites to make albums and send photos to your friends and do shared albums. I'll show you how to do this as well. And number five, let go of this silly fantasy world in which you have all kinds of free time to make difficult emotional decisions about tens of thousands of photos. When I want to get through a bunch of photos really quickly and mark some favorites, I just do the left, right, up and down arrow keys and then do spacebar to make the photo big and then press spacebar to make it small again and then period on the keyboard will mark a favorite. So this way you can get through photos really quite quickly. You can decide which photo you like the best and then just press period on that one. Now that photo shows up under favorites. On the iPhone, same thing, just swipe left or swipe right and tap the little heart at the bottom. Once you've marked your photos with uh, hearts, they're gonna go into the favorites section in your photos. And from here, you can just drag a box around the photos that you wanna add into an album, and then go File and New Album with Selection, or Command N is the keyboard command for that. And then it's just gonna appear down here, and then you can give it a name of whatever you wanna call it. Also from here, you can text the photo. You just click on one of the photos, hit the little Share Square, and then go to Messages to send it to a friend. Uh, or you can select a bunch of them, and then go to the share square and make a shared album. And from here, usually I don't do a comment, but I just click on new shared album, give it a name, and then invite people. You can put their email address or their phone number in here and then click create. When you do that, they're gonna get a notification they've been invited to this shared album. And it's gonna show up here on the left under shared albums. So what you end up with is you still have a million photos, but you've marked your favorites with hearts and you just hang out in the favorites and share them from there. There are so many other things to worry about. Why worry about photos? Boom, Mac Epiphany. If you found this helpful and you want some private Mac coaching with me or someone from my team, just head to macandhome.com slash booking. We work with people all over the world. We'll help you with whatever is on your Mac problems list and you will never feel judged or shamed for whatever mess you are in. Probably good.